Hey guys, uh, this is Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I will be showing you how to upgrade OpenSUSE Leap to a new release. Now you might notice that even though I'm using a virtual machine, like normal, normally I usually have this full screen. Well, I need it to be like this because I need to have access to the the uh, disk drive and all of that. But in this video here, we're gonna be learning how to upgrade OpenSUSE. Now this version of Leap that I'm using is 42.3. Uh, I know it says leap on here, but I have a snapshot and uh, I had to install 42.3 so I could show you guys how this all works. But uh, to start off, you're going to need to read my article and learn how to set up a USB installation drive so that you can get the latest version of leap, which is 15.0, and then you need to put it in your computer. So I'm going to do that for my OpenSUSE virtual machine. So we have the new, the new version is put in the disk drive, and uh, if I install... And uh, if I install the uh, screen fetch utility, you'll be able to see the version just for sure. I know I've told you it's 42.3, just but just so you can see for sure what release this is right now. So we'll go ahead and let this install really quick. Upgrading OpenSUSE in my opinion, though, is one of the most pleasant experiences you're going to get on Linux. So I think it's probably on par with Ubuntu, maybe even a little bit better. And uh, the reason for that is you don't actually have to think about it. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to. It's not like that being where you need to pull out, you know, a terminal and change a bunch of things around and files around. You can just put in the latest ISO file and uh, get it going. And that's what we'll be doing in this video. But if you look here, we, as we can see, uh, once this loads up, this virtual machine I'm using is OpenSUSE 42.3. I've got the latest release, which is Leap 15 installed. So now I'm going to reboot the computer and uh, <clears throat> we will start the installation. So the first thing that we need to do is you need to ignore the installation one and click the upgrade button. Now this is going to load up a kind of installer for OpenSUSE but it's gonna be different than what you're normally used to where you have to go through and set up partitions and everything. If you're gonna see the upgrade installer instead. And at this point, I think I can full screen it. But uh, depending on your computer, the live disk may take a bit of time to load up. Just don't worry about that. It will load. All right, so once the ISO starts up, I guess I can do full screen. But once the ISO starts up, you'll see a loading interface. And uh, initializing takes a little bit, but it'll get there. And uh, it's going to give you a license agreement. You can go through and read the new license agreement. Then you can click the next button. From there, it's going to probe your devices and search for an existing installation. So as we can see right here, I have a 42.3 OpenSUSE Leap installation on my second partition of my SDA disk. So I can select it with my mouse just to be sure, and then click Next. It's now going to mount the partitions through YAS2 and uh, we can start the upgrade process. So right here, it's going to delete all of these repositories because we're transitioning a release, so we don't need it anymore. Click the next button here, and it will download the new repositories that we need. So the latest 15.0 stuff. You can also add extra ones if you want to, but I just recommend leaving it the way it is. Once everything looks good here, once these four are checked, you can click the next button once again. It's going to go through, load up all the repos, and set it all up for you. Oh, by the way, if you do plan on doing an upgrade like this, do not do it with the network installer. It will take forever. Download, Take the time and download the 3, 4 gigabyte one, because once you do the upgrade, it'll take a matter of minutes, because all of the RPMs that you need to get the new installation are right there on the drive, instead of having to deal with the slow stuff. 
you know, going out and downloading everything. All right, so once the repo stuff is taken care of, you can see the system information outline. It's going to tell you what the update is going to do. It's going to tell you how many packages it, packages it will install, new packages, as well as ones to remove, ones to upgrade, and the size of the upgrade, which is 47 gig or 4.7 gigabytes, excuse me. It'll talk about a backup and all of that. And then from there, we can just click the update button, click start update and pretty much the entire thing is automatic you can just leave the room and go drink some coffee hang out talk to your family and uh seriously it's really impressive just like just uh i'll let the video play for a little bit here but uh before i pause it and come back when it's done but just it it just it installs all these rpms and erases everything it's really useful i highly recommend it but uh, i'm going to be i'll be back once the upgrade is done so the upgrade is done and the installer will automatically reboot your system. At this point, you can just select the uh, boot from hard disk. You can unplug your OpenSUSE uh, flash drive from your computer and you should be able to log straight into the new system. All your files should still be there. All of your information will be there. Things will look a little bit nicer, but uh, that's how you upgrade your system on OpenSUSE Linux.